Today we're gonna be turning this dubstep bass. <laughs> to this trap lead. Yo, oh shit, bitch. Calm the fuck down. Yo, what up, what up, what up? It's Kruth. Today, today I have a little secret for you guys. A little secret mix secret. I wasn't going to share this with anybody. I wasn't going to really make a video about this. I mean, I was going to break down my song, but the specific trick, this little thing I did on this song, I was really proud of because it was, it was really cool. The fact that I, I, I turned this bass into this, into this fucking crazy fucking trap lead. And I felt really proud of myself and the technique that I used. And I was like, you know what? I'm probably going to do this to all my songs. I could just make dubstep basses. And then the second drop could be a trap. And I could use this, use this technique and it'll be my own thing. But you know what? Why would I keep this to myself when you guys can actually make dope-ass music with this technique? So, here it is. I'm going to show you guys. We are going to be breaking down the main synth of my song, Wrecked. Um, if you haven't heard it, I'll put a link in the description. So, I exported I exported the, uh, the entire song separately to the bass, uh, just so that I could show you what's going on. Uh, without my fucking computer acting like a ginormous piece of shit. But I'm working on building a, a beast ass computer, guys, that can handle both recording and music production at the same time. Keep in mind, guys, that I have the rough mix here. Uh, this is going to be the only way that I can show you what I did. So this is not mixed and mastered at all. So to start off, I'm going to show you what the dubstep bass sounds like. <laughs> And I made this bass in Serum, guys. So if you want me to make a tutorial on how I made that, uh, leave a comment. Let me know that you want to see that. And I'll totally get that um, video for you guys. Uh, blah, 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 fuck. Okay, so then I grabbed that sample, uh, obviously without the bass, and I soloed it out. So we have this. <laughs> Now, what I did was line it up perfectly here, and I played it twice as fast. Let's chop it here, and we're going to grab the stretch tool, and as you can see, there is two here and two sections here. So we're just going to shorten it to two sections less, so that equals exactly half speed. Like. I made it twice as fast. So, let's listen to it now. Then I grabbed the pitch and I turned it all the way up. Okay, and as you can tell, this right here is the same exact one as this one here. Let's play it again. Right? So that's the main sound that I wanted. So I cropped it out and I just put it across my whole track like this, right? So that's why we have this. Now you're hearing that it has a lot of effects on it and I'm going to run through the effects that it has. Well, it's not a lot really. So this is the, the dry version. So the first thing I added was a uh, EQ just to take out all the low end, and this is what it's doing. And this is what it's doing. So it's just cleaning up that low end. Secondly, we have a reverb. And as you can tell, this this right here, this uh, automation clip is actually controlling a parameter here on the reverb. So, so I get to pick and choose when I want the reverb to come in. It gives it a cool effect once the drums are playing. 
Uh, secondly, or third, is the sound goodenizer with the A preset and just about that high. And lastly, some last EQ, just removing some frequencies that I found a little bit annoying. And this is just uh, here on my sidechain channel, which I like to automate uh, manually with this parameter here, with this automation shits. So you can see it just ducks the sound. Okay, now I went here, I right clicked on volume and I created an automation clip. This is what this automation clip is here. And I just pretty much created, and I'll do it one more time. This is the original one. And I just grabbed this, lowered it down, grab that, lowered it down. So it gives it like a cool like multiple hitting effect. See for this one I made a different shape. See it gives it a different shape. And it's fucking awesome, honestly. There's so many things you could do with automation clips, so. Now I just lower down the pitch a little bit. Oh wait, that's actually on this part. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's how I turn this bass. Where, where is it? Where'd that bitch go? This bass. Into this. So it's just about exploring your sounds and just trying weird shit. You know, you don't always have to work with MIDI. You can actually work with samples and you can get pretty creative with just audio files uh, on their own. All right, guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like. It don't take that long. Just just like the shit. Just, just go down there and like the shit. Also, hit the fucking bell so that you guys know when I post a video on this channel. Uh, the little notification bell, uh, if you already have it on. You're awesome. Comment uh, comment down below that you have it on. I want to know who has it on. And as most of you guys know, I do reply to every comment. So uh, leave some ideas for the next video, guys. I really do appreciate those. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you guys on the next shit.